Next thing I want to create is uh, shapes, uh, shape of a line. So let's let me copy this one again, paste it in. Um, I would take a fixed X also in here. And now um, let, let's update it. Uh, since we're using uh, the fixed X all the time and my page is uh, width is about to end, I'm gonna try to uh, add the lines below the, the bars in here. So my fixed X would be, uh, let's say zero again, sorry, only one zero. And in here, I'm gonna change that to be line and as just for a recall line needs four attributes by mandatory attributes x y y y y1 x2 y2 and that's what i need in here so let me change that real quick to be x1 y1 x2 y2 let's remove everything from here this one also and this one okay now we need oh sorry and let me change this ellipse to be line and now let's say that we need um, x1 and y1 I want it to begin at fixed x <coughs> like that and uh, y1, I want it to be, um, let's say, I want it to be dynamically uh, changed. Um, so I would say uh, function d i, and then again, as before, return. And in here, I would say, um, let's try, I don't know, 70 plus i times uh, 20 it would give it would end so call it would give uh, the i uh, coordinate to be 70 it just the the um, uh, space between them between the lines and uh, incrementing the the um, the width the sorry the position by a uh, I, the I iteration times 20 and the X coordinate I, I want it to be uh, also sorry function dynamically um, changed D and in here let's say return <coughs> uh, fixed X so I, I want it to be uh, different from uh, x1 of course by adding the d the data that i'm getting from the data array and times um, let's say i don't know 20. and now my x position my the end of the line will be uh, changed by the size of the data that i'm getting in here the number of the, the data that I'm getting and the y position would be also dynamically function uh, getting d and i returning um, let's say uh, again 70 like we've uh, done at y1 but now you know what I, I would give it exactly the same i plus uh, 20 semicolon uh, let's try it control save go back to our page refresh okay now I've refreshed it I can see that I have lines in here you see them uh, uh, on the page but nothing is nothing is basically uh, there um, so that's that's a problem and I want to change that first of all it's not below 
you know what let's let's take it one step at a time um, let I, I want to try to make them appear because right now they're um, they're on my page but I cannot see them um, if I if I'm I'm the customer and I'm, I'm going to this page I cannot see the lines uh, so um, in order to see them we need to give them um, a color style or something like that we will see three different methods how to do that um, and, um, and and go from there okay so let's go back to Adam and uh, for our line we will have to add uh, two um, new attributes our first attribute will be uh, yeah, let's let's set the, the placeholder first like that and this is for the second one okay so our first attribute will be a stroke stroke uh, because we cannot see anything um, uh, the line comes um, and appears you know like they're undressed or something like that uh, so let's say um, orange my stroke will be um, sorry or orange and the other uh, attribute that we need is the stroke width so stroke stroke width no I didn't wrote it right stroke width would be um, let's see three or three pixels let's save that go back to our page refresh okay so now we have those lines but they are uh, not at the right position I want to I want to bring them below um, my bar chart and uh, you can see that the lines are uh, set in here they have now two new attributes stroke orange and stroke with uh, three but the problem is with my uh, x uh, position um, my x and y position basically uh, sorry my y position of uh, of y uh, one um, so let's go to y one and instead of 70 let's say um, uh, 400 and this one also will be 400 let's save that go back refresh okay now they are below in here and and uh, next thing I want to do is to uh, make sure that y1 and y2 uh, will be exactly the same because I want it to be a straight line and, and you see that 440 and 422 is not exactly the same and it goes for each and every line so if we'll take a look at y1 and y2 they are supposed to be the same um, but the problem is that I've added 20 instead of multiplied it by 20 um, okay save that refresh and now we have straight lines um, and each line represent the data that we that we've got from our data array so this is the first option how to set um, uh, how to make the, the line uh, appear on our page uh, the second option is instead of stroke is to use style let's see how we'll, we can do that let's go back to Adam okay instead of stroke I'm sorry instead of attribute we can use uh, style style and um, let's save that go back to our page refresh it and now we can see that our uh, uh, lines have a new attribute instead of stroke we have style and inside style we have stroke and orange and that's a bit different but what happened if we'll go to Adam and instead of using uh, style we'll use style and attribute and let's say uh, instead of orange 
I would say yellow or yellow green. Save that. Go back to our page. Refresh it. Hmm. It's green again. It's uh, orange again. And if you look inside of the DOM, we, you can see that it, it has stroke yellow green and also style stroke orange. So why it takes orange? Let's go back. Uh, maybe because it's uh, before uh, the attribute. Let's change the. Let's change it to be like that. Control S, refresh. No, still the same. And why is that? Because style is uh, stronger than stroke. And if we have two of them, style will win um, the war between them. <laughs> And uh, that's why we can see that uh, st uh, style is better than, not better, is stronger than, than stroke. And the, the third option uh, to use that is using class. So let's comment th those two out. I'm going, I'm, I'm saving it and going to style CSS and adding in here um, um, line. And in line, I would I would give uh, stroke and uh, let's say uh, brown. Okay, saving that, going back to our page, refresh, and now our lines are all in brown, even though they have still the stroke in yellow green. Uh, let's go back to Adam, to our shapes. Oh, I comment the width instead of yellow green, but it still it shows it shows me that oh in here you can see that at the moment um, the class uh, is set to brown and that's why our lines are in brown. But if I'm giving back stroke with yellow green and refresh it, it would still be uh, set to be brown. But what is going to happen if I'll uncomment uh, the style attribute. I'm refreshing it and style is still uh, stronger than class or stroke attribute. Um, if you're asking me what to use, I'm gonna use only the CSS. Why? Because it gives me the option um, um, to get a code which is a bit lighter and um, there is one place that I can uh, I can uh, uh, set different values if I want to update them, and uh, that's basically it. I'm gonna move the stroke width also to uh, the CSS um, stroke, sorry, width and three. Save that. Refresh it. Boom. So we have now uh, code which a bit um, cleaner, and uh, this is it.